Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Monday Makes video. Today I'm doing a thank you card using the Brush Strokes Background Stamp by Stampin' Up. I'm also using markers today, the Bermuda Bay, uh, Marina Mist, and Wisteria Wonder. So what I've noticed is that the trend right now is to create your own backgrounds instead of using your designer series paper. And um, I think this is a really great idea because uh, first of all, it's good on your pocketbook. And secondly, um, you are able to sort of change up the color ways that you'd like to use and that sort of thing. And since um, I have sort of laid off on purchasing all the designer series paper that um, was ever created because it seems to be that I am a bit of a paper hoarder, um, I thought this was a really good way to go and I think I'll be using this stamp set uh, in the future quite a lot because I really liked um, the sort of watercolory brush strokey effect that it gave and I, I, I really liked it. So um, just in when you're coloring any stamp with a marker you're going to use the side of your marker so you don't ruin your tip and you try to get as best of coverage as you can with this particular stamp set it sort of has rough brushy parts to it and smoother parts to it so it's actually really good for irregularity so I wasn't too overly careful I just sort of you know colored it in and um, I'm going to be using some water after this so um, paper towel goes down on my work surface and I'm using a spritzer with clean water and I'm generously spraying it and I am using some watercolor paper it just is going to absorb the color and uh, the ink better and it will give me that look that I'm looking for so I just put an acrylic block on there and held it for a little bit and then carefully lifted it off and ta -da! so I used a heat tool as well and I cut it down to size and now I'm using the Greetings Thinlet, new to me, so I was really um, excited to use it. Ran it through my Big Shot on my magnetic platform, and I still needed to put a little bit of post-it tape note there. Um, it did come out quite easily, however, um, it does kind of shift on me. So I'm using Wisteria Wonder, um, again, uh, as a little scrap, and I cut Wisteria Wonder out six times. I know it seems a little excessive, but it actually <laughs> worked out. My card base today is Wisteria Wonder, and that's the reason why I chose um, Wisteria Wonder scraps for those six thanks. So I'm adhering the uh, watercolor piece with Fast Fuse, and I could have used Tombow here or any kind of liquid glue. Um, Fast Fuse. Uh, to me is well it was working for me today so I decided to go ahead and use it and in some of the small parts the like intricate parts of the thanks I did dot a, a little bit of the Tombow and just to put that to the card base and then with my Tombow I just basically wrote in thanks and my first whisper or sorry my first wisteria wonder piece uh, die cut piece goes directly in there so it's nice and flush and it was actually really easy to do this like it didn't take much time at all I'm doing this video in um, real time so it actually didn't take too long to um, get this car to go in so this second layer um, I did right in again with the glue but I think I probably um, I shifted um, you know in the fourth or fifth one not to put so much glue down and I just sort of dotted it and it seemed to work just fine as well so the very last piece is the watercolor piece that I had cut out originally and that's going on the front so um, I did have to use my paper piercer at this point because it what it did give it a lot of elevation and I just wanted to actually adhere make sure everything was you know perfectly done it really gives a neat optical illusion and there are three um, die dies in this set um, I think one says cheers and one says smile I'm not a hundred percent sure but I will be using them in the future so 
Okay, so here's some really fancy sequins that I picked up from the Watercolor Wishes card kit. This was a little bit that I had left over. So I'm just putting a little bit of Tombow on the uh, card itself. And that's how I sort of um, put random sequins on. I just sort of dump them. And then with my Quick Sticks tool, I'm uh, picking up and using the chopstick part uh, to hold the sequin down. And you may notice that I have figured out how to use the zoom on my editing software. So I hope I didn't make you dizzy by getting in there. But I did want you to see what I was doing up close. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, there's links in the bottom of the description bar if you need anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!